All right, guys, today we're going through a day off the HWPO program. This is from week two of the program, so we're still very early in the cycle. So the focus is a lot more on lighter weight, higher volume. The first piece is going to be our warm up. This it's written like a typical workout, but it's meant to be a warm up. So just take your time going through it. Really work on good body position, activating the right muscles. The first movement is 15 calories on the ski erg. This is just to loosen up, loosen up the shoulders, get the abs firing, get the lungs breathing a little bit. Then we're going into single arm dumbbell press. These are very slow, controlled, and light. They should not be difficult. We're doing a lot of shoulder to overhead pressing. So this is just to activate the shoulders, get them ready to move some weight. The next piece is RDLs with dumbbells. This is just to activate the hamstrings, the glutes. Later on, we have a lot of sandbag cleans. So when you're getting down in that position, you're firing up your whole posterior chain. So this is just activating that. And then inchworms, I use these half as a chance to get a push up, you know, um, just some core activation as you're out in the plank. But then also when I'm rewinding, coming back up to upright, I'm using it as a chance to stretch my hamstrings. Piece number two is push presses. These are bigger sets, so they're sets of 10 and eight. The percentages are meant to be lighter. Um, because it's higher volume, I want the weight to stay light so that you can focus on the good leg drive and generating the power out of your hips instead of just doing basically a strict press with a bit of a kip. All the power should be generated from the legs. So the weight's nice and light, Focus on cycling the bar nice and smoothly. Really focus on that nice smooth re-rack re so you're not smashing your shoulders. I'm using this as a tool to learn how to cycle the heavy barbell as well by getting the reps in with a lighter, lighter barbell. Piece three, strict pressing. We already warmed up the push press going from the shoulders to overhead. So this is just a little bit more volume, but this time we're taking the legs out of the equation. Now we're using our shoulders to press the weight up. This is working off the numbers that we did last week. Once again, they are a bit lighter, but you have four sets of 10, so it's a good amount of volume. The first set should feel easy, but by the fourth set, you know, you should be getting it, getting the reps very confidently, but they should be slowing down a little bit from that first set. The Metcon for the day, this one's a fun one, um, and it takes a little bit of an explanation. The main piece of the workout is five rounds, eight sandbag cleans or D-ball with a light D-ball. So for myself, I used a hundred pounder and then 10 burpees over, over the sandbag. Um, these movements are meant to be light. You shouldn't be failing or struggling. It's gonna be, uh, your limiting factor should be your lungs, your aerobic capacity, how much air you're able to take in. Now, because on a workout like this, because it's light um, and the movements shouldn't be the limiting factor, it's very easy to go into it and your first round you blitz through and you get it in 30 seconds and then your last round is two minutes. So to do that, there is a buy-in. To stop you from having that blistering fast first round, there's a buy-in. It's a Tabata on whatever bike you have. There's no score from it. It's eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and you're just trying to hold a moderate pace. You're not keeping track of calories, you're not, going for a high score on the Tabata. The only purpose is to get your legs puffed up a little bit, get your breathing heavy, so that you're not, you're not starting this workout feeling so fresh and just ruining your pacing through the whole thing. So you're starting the workout out of breath. And then when you're done the five rounds, the buy out is just 20 calories on the bike. So as soon as you've done that workout, you should be very out of breath, you should be very fatigued. And now 20 calories should be just an all out sprint, but it's gonna be very difficult. So it's really gonna test you mentally. The next three pieces are all just accessory. Um, you can superset them. You can work through one round at a time on each one, or you can do them all straight through. The first one is strict pull-ups, four sets of 20. Now, obviously this is not meant to be uh, unassisted. I do them with a green rogue band because sets of 20 are a lot, but the intent of this is big, big volume at a very light weight. So that as you progress through the cycle, you start tapering down the volume, you can increase the intensity 
And now when you add in a kip as well, they get even easier and easier, but you're used to that super high volume. So four sets of 20 on the strict pull-ups, uh, dumbbell overhead tricep extension. So this is just a classic two hands on one dumbbell, standing behind you, extend up, hit the lockout. Uh, once again, pretty high volume on this, so lean towards the lighter side. But I just think triceps are so important with so many movements across, but especially the Olymp Olympic weightlifting, they help with your lockout. Uh, handstand push-ups. once again, you're pressing into a lockout. Even something as simple as burpees, you know, just always pushing, pushing, pushing. So I think triceps are a super important piece. You'll see a lot of them through this whole training cycle. And the last piece, uh, reverse hypers, one of my favorite movements, you know, because I've dealt with back injuries before, I know how valuable that piece of equipment is. If you don't have a reverse hyper, just do back extensions, but it's just gonna help stabilize the whole core and set you up for a better future. The last piece for today's training, it's listed in the bonus work, so if you have time constraints and can't make it, it's not a big deal. I find it super beneficial. I'm gonna hit uh, the zone two bike in a second session, just I'll go eat, kick my feet up for a little bit, and then it's gonna be 30 to 40 minutes at 155 beats per minute uh, for a heart rate. So it's not a difficult pace, but I'll just put on headphones, watch some TV, and just uh, cycle and get a good sweat going. Hope you guys enjoyed my day of training today. Uh, if you liked what you saw, join in, give it a try. If you really liked it, go over to Hybrid and uh, you can join the HWPO training.